Hey everyone, welcome to Downhill Backyard Gardening. As the weather is changing, <laughs> so is the garden. And it's time to totally get rid of almost everything out here and prep for spring. So this year I'm doing this early. We're gonna knock it out today, or at least a lot of it today. And I thought I'd bring you all along for the ride. Let's grow. As we see here, the beans are definitely not liking this cold weather. Neither is that basil. Look at how bad that looks now. That's all right, it'll come back next year. All of these over here just look absolutely horrible. I'm probably going to leave these eggplants in, at least for now. We'll see, maybe they'll come back next year. I doubt it, but right now I'm not gonna take them out. The squashes over here are done. Need to totally redo this bed take out all that over there so as you can see I have a lot to do today and I figured with the rain that came yesterday now is the time to get out here and start chopping things down and getting these beds prepared for spring which means I will be amending all the beds putting in compost putting in uh, good garden soil letting that stuff start to break down and seep those nutrients down into the existing soil so when spring hits or when March 1st hits, which is basically our last expected frost date here in my area, then I can get all my starts that I've started inside out here, ready to rock and roll right at the beginning of spring. So we're gonna start over here. We're gonna take out all these squash plants and get this bed ready. Now, what I don't like to do is mess up the soil. I don't wanna pull the roots out. I'm just going to cut them as you see that I'm doing here. Yeah, just like that, that section's open. Now here in a little bit, we'll come back through and compost and soil that all up. We're gonna move over to this bed, then we'll jump to that bed. And from here on out, I'm just gonna go and play some music, let y'all see what I'm doing. I'm basically just going to rip out all the plants that need to come out now. Well, leaving the ones in that I'm just gonna see what they do. Well, I just saw something I did not expect. That vine right there is a sweet potato vine. Apparently I missed a sweet potato down there when I did the harvest. So I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. We'll see how it does through the winter. If it starts to die, like the vine starts to die, I'll totally dig it up and see what we got. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. So for the beans, I am definitely gonna cut at the ground level. And the reason, just like that. Now the reason for that is, and I'm gonna pull one out just to show you, is beans, the legume family, will pull nitrogen out of the air through the leaves and store them down in the roots. So you can leave the root system of any bean in the ground, and when you replant other crops over that same area, those vegetables will use the stored nitrogen from these bean roots for their own production and for their own use. So always leave your bean roots in the soil. That's my advice and that's what I've always done once I learned about nitrogen fixation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these okra plants. Now the good thing about an okra plant is their roots are pretty shallow, so you can kind of just slowly pull them out and you really shouldn't disturb the network of highways in the soil. 
See, really shallow roots. Now some get big like. Okay, just like that. This bed is completely ready to compost. Put a nice layer of compost over that over the winter. Did the same thing to this bed a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago maybe. I'm gonna do the same over there. Same right over there. And now, for the fun part, I'm gonna come through here and take out all these beans right here. Probably gonna leave those beans for now, along with those and those. And the reason for that is, is this area does not get super, super cold. So if I can let the beans continue to grow, even if the leaves look damaged, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and just see. Again, everything with gardening, honestly, is experimenting. Yes, there's rules that you, you should abide by. There's guidelines that you should focus on and follow. But for the most part, for me, and if y'all have seen this channel for any length of time, you know I like to experiment, I like to push the envelope, I like to think outside the box. So we're gonna go ahead and leave these beans in, but there's damage that looks like that on the plants. I'm just gonna go ahead and get them out and get that area ready for spring. I'm also gonna trim up these basils here because they are looking not well. <laughs> Okay, so all the beds that I'm going to amend, at least today, are ready. One thing I will do later on though, is go through all these bean plants and totally harvest these beans off of these. So that's one cool thing, have some green beans tonight. All right, now I'm gonna bring in the soil mix bags and the compost. Now the areas that I'm gonna put compost are going to be the areas that I've already laid down a layer of the garden soil of last month or so. And it's going to be the areas that I really want a lot of nutrients to seep down deep into that existing soil over the next couple few months. So that's the rhyme and reason to where I'm going to put the soils versus the compost. But I'm also going to compost around plants that I want to keep over the winter that I don't want to dig up. So like those jalapeno peppers over there, the asparagus around the bottom of the asparagus, I'm going to compost and use that as a mulch. I don't think enough is said about utilizing your compost as a mulch over the winter time you can do this you can do that you don't need to bring in mulch and then compost and then mulch and then compost or however you do it just use your compost good thick layer of compost lay it down over the plants that you want to try to keep over winter or the areas that you just want to really slam in that nutrients into that soil so that's what i'm going to do it worked last year i don't see why it wouldn't work this year and uh yeah so here we go now the sweaty part starts. All right, everyone, so that's the video. Now, why am I taking my time to show everything that I'm doing here? Well, one, I promised you all I would show you all everything I'm doing in the garden. 
I think it is incredibly vital that if you're going to have success in spring, you are starting to amend, if you haven't already, your beds now. Do it in the winter time. Let mother nature do her thing. Take care and decompose and sink all those nutrients down deep in your existing soil. So when you plant your starts in spring, your soil is ready to rock and roll. And I believe 100% it all starts right now. The last thing I'll leave you all with is this. Ensure that the companies that you are buying your compost, your bedding soils from, are a reputable company that you have researched and that you fully support. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard of people putting in a, a mixture of something in their soil, usually a cow manure that was not tested, and grazon being in there, killing your leafy plants for a year to three years. So be very, very careful of what you put in your garden as Mother Nature decides to show up. Hey, how you doing? Because a mistake like that can cost you years in your garden. Everyone, if y'all enjoyed this video, as always, do me a favor, share it, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, everyone, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Bye.